Hey everyone, it's me Morgan and Desiree and we are here at the Ariel Foundation Teen Makerspace and today we're going to be showing you how to make your very own stained glass votive holders. So the first thing that you'll need is your votives, some tissue paper of whatever colors you want. You should have a sharpie, a pair of scissors, a tea light, and a paintbrush, also Mod Podge. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna start with doing is cutting or tearing your tissue paper into whatever size pieces or shapes that you want. I decided to go with a little bit of a geometric shape pattern, whatever you wanna call it, and I cut them. I think Morgan mm -hmm. tore hers. Yeah. So it's gonna give you a little bit of a different look depending on what you decide. And Morgan did the first layer of hers and let it dry for about an hour. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're gonna take the Mod Podge and you're going to just, before you apply, you're going to just take a little bit of the Mod Podge and put it on here and then you're gonna apply your tissue paper. And you're gonna apply it in whatever way you want to. So. I would like to see what yellow, pink, and blue look like together because they're kind of primary colors. I didn't want to do red because I thought it might be a little bit too bright. So we're going to do, I'm going to do pink, yellow, and blue, and then overlay them so that the colors blend. Okay guys, so here we are, and don't mind if anybody's talking in the background. We're at the library, and we're still doing work even though we're not open. Mm -hmm. But if after you get your tea light holder covered, you start to notice that there's little spots where it peels up like this. Just go ahead and go around before it dries, and add a little bit of Mod Podge right underneath there and brush it down. So the technique that you're doing is called decoupage, and you're putting the Mod Podge down on the glass first, and then covering it with Mod Podge to wet it down. So just go around and check before it dries if there's any little side pieces or little corners that are sticking up, and then pat it down. 
And then after this, you can either decide that you're going to put another layer of tissue paper on or not. Um, if you decide not to, then I would let it dry for like an hour or so or stick it in front of a fan. And then we'll meet you back here on the next step because I'm going to just do one layer. Morgan, go ahead and reach over here and show what yours looks like right. so far. So far, mine looks like this. I had to draw my star pattern onto it and now I'm going around the edges. So if you see how she did, she did it yellow first and covered the whole entire thing in yellow. And then she drew her stars on and she's going to put the blue in to fit those yellow spots. Yeah. So I can't wait to see what yours turns out like. Me Morgan. too. So I'm we'll meet stress. you back here when ours are set and Morgan's gonna get her blue done and we'll meet you right back here. All right. Yay. So here is the next step. So after you've let it dry for, I would say if you don't want to do it overnight, at least an hour, because you want the Mod Podge to harden a little bit. And so after that, you're going to have something that looks like this or however you want yours to turn out. I thought it would be cute to maybe do hearts, but I didn't want to do that today. I just wanted the geometric shapes. And mm -hmm. Morgan's has turned out super cute. Yeah. And so to give it the stained glass effect, effect, yeah. <laughs> sorry, to give it the stained glass effect, we're going to take the black Sharpies that you've been provided with in your bag, mm -hmm. and you're just going to decide how you want to do this. So what I think I'm going to do is trace this piece right here, and then see, if you can't see, this pink goes underneath of the yellow and it makes orange. So I'm going to go over here and then we're going to go straight down to that pink part right there. And then there's pink right here. And so I'm just going to keep going through and even here where the yellow overlaps, I'm going to go ahead and do a line right here. And like I said before, you can do two layers if you'd like, or you can do one. It's up to you. And right here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and go over that right there. And so like with stained glass, you would have iron leading that goes around your pieces. So that's kind of what we're trying to replicate here. Morgan, what are you doing with yours? I'm definitely just following the star shape. Okay. I think that's going to look good. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue doing this, and you guys can watch it speed through, and we'll meet you right back at the end.
Okay, so here we go. This is the final product that I made and look at how cool it is. It's beautiful. This could be one of my favorite <laughs> things that we've made here in the Makerspace. Definitely. Let's see yours, Morgan. Yeah. Mine. Here, you can go ahead and spin it. Morgan, go ahead and go shut the yeah. light off so yeah. we can see. Pretty. It looks so good. Yeah, let's see what yours looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. So you can see how layering the colors with each other creates like different yeah. shadows. And so you can get really abstract with this like I did, or you can keep it pretty organic like Morgan did, but either way, whatever you do, it's going to look awesome. Yeah. They're so pretty. Okay, guys. Well, I know we're in the dark now, but <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you later. See you guys.